Time now, 624. We are learning more about Debbie's impacts here across Tampa Bay. This morning, we're getting an update on the impacts from the National Weather Service issuing its event summary for the storm. The highest wind gusts recorded at the Skyway Fishing Pier with 61 mile per hour winds out there. The Manatee River got nearly 16 inches of rain and in Cedar Key, the tide from the storm rose more than four and a half feet. Good morning to you guys. So we did see surge. We saw flooding, all those leftover impacts from Debbie. Even when it was hundreds of miles away from us, we were still feeling the impacts and going to continue to. We do see that a lot of our rivers will fall to minor flood stages or get out of those flood warnings heading into Wednesday morning. So that's some good news. By the end of this week, we should start to see things return to normal for most of our rivers. Other than that, I am tracking out another area of interest right now that's in the western portion of the Atlantic. It is going to be potentially Ernesto next and we do see that this system does have the potential to form into a tropical storm starting out on Tuesday afternoon into early Wednesday morning. But thankfully this system is going to turn out. We have great agreement in the models that it's going to move right back out and be a fish storm quote unquote or essentially not impact any sort of land. It is forecast to become a category two hurricane. But thank goodness we do see the steering is going to steer it right back out and away from us.